Tomorrow is Christmas. It is the day Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the Hebrew prophet they believe to have been the Son of God. Although Christ's teaching and his apparent goodness would seem to transcend the significance of what he looked like, almost a hundred generations of Christians have wanted some image toward which to direct their worship. One of the difficulties in providing visualization of Christ is that no artist who lived when Christ lived drew any likeness of him that exists today. Neither was any physical description provided in the Bible. Because the Christian movement was disapproved of by public officials, Christ's earliest followers used symbolic representations to conceal their affiliation. In an early church council, these and other symbols were disapproved, and it was decreed that from that time onward, Christ would be portrayed as a man. The first efforts to picture Christ seem to have been Byzantine, meaning done in the city of Byzantia, the Turkish capital, once Constantinople, now Istanbul. Many of them were mosaics done in the third and fourth centuries. As the Christian movement spread and missionaries told the story everywhere, Artists around the world painted the Jesus Christ they saw in their own mind. To the Christians of the Far East, he was Oriental. To the Indians, Indian. To the Africans, he was black. And who is to say otherwise if they see him so? It is probable that if Christ had been born Roman or Greek, Contemporary likenesses of him would have been painted or chiseled in stone. Though he was not, many later representations of him borrow from Greek or Roman statuary. The sophistication of modern religious belief, where there is any at all, prohibits a literal visualization of the idea of Jesus Christ. A picture of God as a bearded and benign elderly gentleman in a flowing robe is unacceptable now, even to the true believer. Belief is a quality of its own. It is a virtue independent of that which is believed in. Carl Sandburg said it best for our time. The Christ head, the Christ face, what man will ever paint, chisel, or carve it, he asked. When finished, it would float and glean, cry and laugh with every face born human. And how, the poet asked, can you crowd all the tragic and comic faces of mankind into one face? It is apparent that Jesus Christ, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs>